within the rational, limited rational model, you action depends on two guesses. The first guess is what are the probable consequences of, of action? What, what can I expect in the future? The second guess is how will I feel about those consequences? Is what, what are my preferences? Not only what are my preferences now, but what will they be in the future? And what struck me was that preferences were not very close to what they are in the theory, the standard statistical theory of rational choice, that preferences are not stable, they're not consistent, and they're not very clear. So you're dealing with people who have ambiguous preferences, changing preferences, and the theory simply didn't attend to that. So you had to confront ambiguity. How do you make choices when your um, preferences are unclear? But once you open that up, you notice also that, that history is unclear, that technology is unclear, that we live in a relatively ambiguous world, and that the problem of matching solutions to problems in an ambiguous world is rather different from what it appears to be if you think that there are relatively clear problems, relatively clear solutions. That got us to the garbage can, a, a, a way in which problems and solutions get put together where you have unclear preferences, unclear technology, and people moving in and out of the, of the system. And the basic idea of the garbage can was that uh, preferences and solutions and problems, and problems and solutions, and individuals and so on, uh, were mixed in the garbage can of a choice uh, by their temporal simultaneity, not by their uh, causal linkages. So that what we persistently observe is that organizations announce solutions to problems that don't have anything to do with the problems, but happen to be solutions that are around at that time. And that the capabilities they have to uh, make choices depend very much on this the movement of problems and solutions in and out of their, their attention. Uh, more generally, of course, the limited rationality theory is a theory of attention, and the garbage can is a continuation of that focus on, on attention. What was more important for, for the garbage, the ambiguity or the attention allocation? Oh, I think... I would have said that the ambiguity is the groundwork. The, the model is a model of attention allocation. Uh, the, uh, it's essentially arguing that if things arrive at the same time, you pay attention, you put, tie them together. Uh, the ambiguity is the underlying reason for that, because presumably if there were tight causal connections, then they would be tied by tight causal connections. But... Uh, the model itself seems to me an attention allocation model. And, and it basically says decision-making is very heavily an attention allocation thing. 